Our choices, our actions, not only reflect my first name, but more importantly, it reflects my last name. How do you do? Here comes number five. Hey, has got him! Now there's not a bigger story in all of sports. A major bombshell out of the college football world. I went from the top, I went all the way to the bottom. His girlfriend never existed in actuality. Do you think this is going to have any effect on his draft status? And I built my way back up. He is buried by Manti Teo. Teo leads away. He has no for those of us who've been at rock bottom, it's like diving to the bottom of a pool. So many questions yet to be answered, so many questions yet to be asked. That's going to have GMs and owners scrambling. With the 38th selection. Picked off! Menti Teo jumped in top of it. The San Diego Chargers probably select. This could be a Heisman moment for this young man. My father would always tell me before I went out, he said, remember who you are and remember whose you are. Menti Teo, linebacker, Notre Dame. What's up? What's up, brother? Hey, man, appreciate yeah. you taking the time to do Gorgeous. this. Gorgeous. The first thing I want to get to is the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame. It's a privilege to introduce you to the 2023 Polynesian Football Hall of Fame inductee, Manti Malietau Lewis Teo. Junior Seo. Jesse Sapolu, Troy Polamalu, some of the legends. Has it hit you yet that you're going into like some serious rare air type of company? Those men that you just mentioned, I looked up to. There are my, my versions of I could do it. And for me to be inducted into the Polynesian Hall of Fame, it's kind of one of those moments where I look back and say, I hope that there's a kid that's looking at me and saying I could do it because Manti did it. And I think that's so, special about the Polynesian Hall of Fame, that's so special about the culture is we all understand that there's somebody somewhere, some kid that's looking at us and that's depending on us to do it so that we could be the hope for them. You can do and be anything you want to be. You just have to be willing to pay that price. And when you pay that price, remember the people that were with you from the beginning. Faith, family, and football, yes, right? The three pillars, yes, right? Yes. Why is that so ingrained? into the Polynesian culture? I think it's ingrained because in the Polynesian culture, we understand that we're playing and we're playing and doing things for reasons beyond ourselves. I'm here not only because of the price that I paid, but because of the price that my family paid. Our choices, our actions, not only reflect my first name, but more importantly, it reflects my last name. My father would always tell me before I went out, he said, remember who you are and remember whose you are. That was the two main things that he would always wow. tell me before I left the house. Remember who you are, Manti. Remember whose you are. It brought me so much joy that when they would go out, on, go out in public, people would come up to them and say, hey, like, are you related to Manti Teo? And for a Polynesian kid, that's, that's, that's the greatest thing ever, right? That we could go out in public and people would recognize our family. Coming up through high school, being the, you know, the big time collegiate recruit, the high school football star, how did you manage that humility when you are built up mm -hmm. and you had to know you were something special as well. Well, it's, it's, it's easy when you have the parents that I have, right? My parents will always remember, like I said, remember who you are and whose you are, not remember who you are and what you do, right? And so for me, I understood that, okay, I may have all of these accomplishments on the field, but I didn't get there by myself. Was it great for me in my high school career to, to feel the, the notoriety, to accomplish the things that, that I accomplished? Yeah, it was. Did it help my confidence? Of course. But it's not just about me again, right? It's about my family. It's about getting them out of the situation that they're in. And once I got that, now I can say, okay, I accomplished something. So how much did that play into you staying for your senior year as opposed to maybe elevating your draft stock? Well, I think that was a different conversation because coming out my junior year, I sent the analysis in right. and they gave me my grade back and they, they told me I'll be a late first rounder. And so I was like, oh, okay, great. Talked to my parents again and they still lived in the same house we lived practically our whole lives. And my parents were like, okay, listen, like, <laughs> hey buddy. Like, like we're still renting yes, this Hey house. buddy, like this is why we did everything, right? And um, just like my decision to go to Notre Dame was a decision based on prayer, every big decision for me was, okay, if there's one person I know that wouldn't lead me astray, it's God himself, so I'm gonna pray about it. And I stayed and 
my senior year happened the way it happened, bro. And I was like, man, <laughs> only God could write that, man. Like, <laughs> for me to have the senior year I had, you know, on the football field, it was amazing. How do you do? Here comes number five. Teo's got him! Uh, Manti Teo, this is what he can do. Teo up over the top. Picked off! Manti Teo jumps on top of it. This could be a Heisman moment for this young man. And then you, you go through the draft process. Mm -hmm. And I know you said the Netflix, like it never really clicked. It never really felt right. It was a different battle I was facing at that point. Yeah. I wasn't fighting to be a part of anybody's family. I was trying to get myself to be a part of myself. Who am I, right? Who is Manti at his core? So the little kid that grew up in Lae grew up around people that believed the same things as he did, right? Then as he grew up, he started to listen to other people say things about him. And as they came in positive, like they just helped me to be more confident, yes, but it also flamed an ego. It flamed a part of me that stood on a foundation that wasn't so firm. And I didn't realize how much I weighed people's opinions of me until I, until they all became negative. A major bombshell out of the college football world. His girlfriend never existed in actuality. Do you think this is gonna have any effect on his draft status? I think that there's something off about the kid. Totally new territory. You gotta find out the character. Is this a red light for other things? I'm a little bit confused right now. A lot more questions at this point than answers. I really had to bring everything and bring it back inside and say, okay, Manti, before all of this, before all the fame, before all the criticism, before the Heisman, before the catfishing, Manti, who are you? Who's the guy that's staring back at you in the mirror? For those of us who've been at rock bottom, it's like diving to the bottom of a pool, a deep pool, and you sit there. You can't hear anything. There's only two voices down there. Is that the voice that you tell yourself and God's, because the devil don't care about you down there. You know, so there was a level of um, desperation there. I was like, okay, listen, I got to perform on a football field. I'm not performing on a football field. Internally, socially, I'm, I'm not enjoying this at all. You know, and so I got to, this is not me. I got to figure it out. I had a book that I, I put Dear Manti on it. And every time my family would come, I'd pass it out to them. And I'd say, hey, listen, before you go back home, write me something, please. And I still have that book. Just write me a letter. Whatever you want to tell me, just write me. And so when they would leave, I would go through that book, just reminding me of who I am. And that's the beautiful thing about what I went through is I went from the top, I went all the way to the bottom, and I built my way back up. And so I can help everybody. I can relate to anybody. Anything that you've been through, any darkness you've experienced. I may not have experienced the same things you've experienced, but I know what that darkness feels like. And then I know how it feels to come out. And that journey, that's the best journey for me because now I can help anybody. So now you're kind of coming to your, yeah. your internal well-being and then you go to the Saints. Why was it like, okay, yeah. now I can come here and play? Because you had some good years down in mm -hmm. New Orleans. Yes, I did. Nowhere to go. Tao leads away. He is buried by Manti Tao. I called him my Jay-Z years because it started off Again, the family, Cam Jordan, took us to a Jay-Z concert. Jay-Z says in that concert, you cannot heal what you don't reveal. I said, okay, well, I gotta start revealing these things, these, these things that I have built up inside of me. And as I started to do that, I started to heal a little bit more. And I started to make those little ticks to become who, who I used to be. And then all of that came together and I was able to be able to play some great ball. anti Tails having himself a game. I call him my Jay-Z years because I always tell my friends, I guess I got my swagger back. <laughs> <laughs> the riveting and the emotional end of that Netflix festival, you talked about inspiring people. Mm -hmm. What has been the reaction that you've heard publicly, privately from that special? It's, you know, it's all been positive. It's put me back in a light where I wanted to be, where now I can help because prior to that documentary for the past 10 years, the narrative was, oh, that's a guy that got catfished. And so now it put me in a position where I can help people. And like I said, like there are so many people that have experienced so many different trials in their life. And watching the documentary has given them hope that I can do it another day. So you mean to tell me that you watching the documentary just helped you have hope for another day? Imagine that, bro. Like wow. that's, that's more powerful than any play I could make. Any, any trophy I could hold up. Now I have the responsibility of affecting 
people outside of my culture, outside of my community. And so for all the people out there, just keep going. Even when you can't see your footsteps in front of you, just keep walking. Because I promise you, as you keep walking, the sun will come up. You'll start to get your stride, but you gotta keep going. If you stop, no one knows what the future tells for you. you gotta get but your just, swagger back, yeah, right? Yeah, just gotta get your swagger <laughs> back. <laughs> so you haven't played for a couple years now, so the career? Yeah. Is that, what are you doing now? So, I'm, so I own two businesses, but what I'm doing on a consistent basis is raising my kids. Like that is my number one job, is to be a dad. And that's the greatest job that I could ever have is is the opportunity to watch my, my daughter grow, to you know, welcome in our son, and oh, world watch out, you know what I mean? Because, <laughs> yes. and they're tail, they're tail. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that, that's, that's what I'm doing now, brother. You've dropped about 15 pearls on us, like just, just incredible sayings, things people have said to you, things you've heard. Is there a particular mantra that just guides you? <clears throat> people will never remember what you say. They'll never remember what you do, but they'll remember how you made them feel. And that is what it's all about. Just keep going, man. Just keep living and being the best version of yourself that you can be. If you want to be a superhuman, be a good human. You don't got to be Superman. Be a good human. Put an arm around somebody. Help somebody up. Be aware as you go out in the world of who needs help. And so always remember who you are and whose you are, and that we're all each other's brothers and sisters. I always say, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And we're going to go special places together. Pretty awesome. It's impact. Yeah. Hey, bro. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, yes, man. Sir. Congratulations Thank on you, everything. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.